All right, welcome. Today we're gonna to be breaking down this MacBook 12 inch A1534 uh, rose gold uh, laptop. So with the Max, uh, you're gonna need a small tri, uh, this is a pentalobe, and it looks like the diameter is a 1.2. Um, and just be advised that we're gonna be leaving the display assembly complete and also not removing the keyboard. Uh, but we'll remove the bottom case and the other components, including the logic board. So to begin, we're just going to remove all of these little pentalobe screws in the bottom case. Alright, so once you get the screws out, then there's going to be two spots where you gotta pop it off. So get a spudger and just run it along the seam until the bottom case pops up. And then repeat for the other side. Now, so your battery is connected here to the bottom case and there's a bunch of other ribbons inside that are connecting the two pieces. So I think the easiest way is to flip it over with the back side facing you and then just lift it up a little bit and just lay it gently there out of the way so you can get to uh, some of these ribbons. So those look like a small Phyllis bit. I'm gonna switch to a 2.0. Actually, maybe a little smaller. I'll go to a 1.5. We'll remove the Phillips screw holding down the first ribbon. Okay, looks like there's another one a little further back. Let me get that one as well. Okay, that one they made into a Torx, it appears. Didn't see that at first. So we're gonna switch over to maybe a T5. Nope, a little smaller. Let's see, yeah, that is a T5. And a T6. Okay, so they used two different fasteners there for the bracket and just pop that connector up and off and then give a little bit more slack on that rib in there so these connectors have a little bit of tape over them so we're gonna get rid of that at least pull it out of the way and with the spudger we can Flip up the little retainer for the ribbon, and we're gonna need to pull that up to get a little bit of slack. Okay, that was pretty easy. So you just use the little uh, piece that they give you here that sticks up and pull it straight up and it'll come out of the connector. Um, kind of around the speaker and then for our uh, This type of retainer it also flips up So just like that and then We can finish pulling the cable out of the back side All right, so now we've separated the palm rest and display from the battery and logic board Okay, so the battery is uh, pretty well glued into the case, so most people uh, switch those out as an assembly anyways. Um, but we'll go ahead and continue um, removing the speakers. And these are a Torx T4. So Apple does use a lot of different sized uh, headed fasteners in their laptops, which kind of sucks. 
Okay, so we have another torque size, a little bit bigger here. And it is a couple that are still, oops, a couple that are still holding on the logic board. So a T6 looks like it's gonna be a little bit too big. So we'll go back to our T5. And we'll just remove the logic board screws. All right, so of course we wanna finish removing any ribbons that remain. So over here for the speaker, we'll flip up on the little retainer and pull the ribbon out. And I like to flip these back down uh, just so in the meantime they don't get messed up. And looks like we got a little bit more tape here covering the antenna. Antenna connections. So we'll give it a good look over and just finish popping out these antenna connections. They should uh, ideally just come up and off, but sometimes they can be a little bit of a pain. So with this one, I don't want to pull too hard on that uh, antenna connection, so I'm just going to wait until I have a little bit more slack on that so I can get it to pop off. And um, these have tape on the bottom, so you'll definitely want to use a spudger or something else to kind of work underneath them. And just give it a little twist. Like we have everything uh, disconnected except for the uh, speaker antennas. Let's get a better look here. So I'm just gonna get a little bit more uh, slack on that cable so I can finish popping it up and off. And then, as you can see on the bottom here, uh, we'll just finish peeling up the black tape that they use to kind of mess with you when you're trying to take out the logic board. there but this little piece here was kind of integrated into that antenna for some reason all right and then let's go ahead and finish removing these and then for the last one since the ribbons on the bottom or no it's not it's here at the top and this one just simply pops up and off. So just go slow and be careful with the uh, little connectors and you'll be fine. So as you can see the logic board is really tiny and this holds the storage in the RAM and the processor. All right, so we got the uh, just the bottom case with the battery. So if you need to replace your battery, uh, definitely consider buying it with a bottom case assembly and ideally you wanna know what the cycle count is. So if you're gonna buy one used, uh, try to find out one that hasn't been cycled a lot. All right, so we will move on to 
for the palm rest. So it looks like we've got just a handful of Phillips bits. And uh, looks like some Torx. So they definitely use a pretty wide variety of fasteners. So I'm already loaded with a T5, so I'll go ahead and go for the audio jack. And then there's one more tiny ribbon, so we'll flip up on the little connector, retainer. Just pulling out that ribbon. So underneath the this little backlight cover is going to be a ton of tiny, I believe they're Phillips screws. I know it's hard to tell. I don't want to peel back, but the um, most of the Mac keyboards are held on by a ton of tiny screws, so might be worth it if you're trying to replace it on your own to buy the uh, top case assembly with a keyboard. And if you want to, we're going to leave the touchpad in place, but if you want to replace the uh, touchpad, you just have a number of torque screws here and it's going to come out of the front side. You just want to make sure you take, a, take the ribbons off so you don't yank on them. But we'll go ahead and finish up by removing the LCD assembly. So we're gonna get the little rubber dampeners, get those out of the way. So these are a larger Torx. And I'm gonna go up to a seven and just see. It's actually a little bit bigger. So we will go with a T8. And first, I think we should, so this is part of the, I forget what they call that, but I think that's still a T5. So I'm getting a little ahead of myself. We don't want to do the hinges yet. We want to uh, just make sure that we have the display assembly um, all the ribbons disconnected before we try to separate the two halves. But if you are just doing your display assembly, I don't think you have to do the steps that we just showed um, for the bottom case. Like once you separate it, then you can go straight for these hinges and uh, the screen connector and just separate the LCD. Yeah, also uh, remove the, the charger port there real quick. But I did misplace my Phillips bit. Okay. So these are just a small Phillips. This is a 1.5. So it looks like you're going to need a small Phillips 1.5, a Torx T4, a Torx T5, and a Torx T8. There's our USB-C port. Alright, so I'm just going to get them loose real quick, just a little bit, not so tight. It's easier to do it while it's laying flat. You can also um, put a bit more downward pressure if needed. So most laptops in general will separate the easiest if they're in a fully open position. So I'm gonna assume this one is the same. 
So I like to do uh, one screw on each side, or actually just leave one screw each side uh, to keep the assemblies together. And then for the final screws, uh, you want to hold the assembly from underneath so that you're not putting too much stress on the one remaining hinge. And then after we get the last hinge, we should hopefully be able to separate the two pieces. All right, so there's our display assembly. This one happens to be quite broken. So if you do need to replace your, dis your display assembly, definitely buy it as a whole unit. You really don't wanna be messing around with trying to take these apart and even worse, putting them back together. All right, so get that little bracket out of the way. There's our uh, top case assembly. Like I said, the keyboard, um, it's usually is gonna have a ton of tiny little Phillips screws holding it together. This one might be Torx, but um, unless you're a Mac repairman, you definitely don't wanna be messing with trying to get this keyboard on and off. It's just, it's horrible. And uh, your touchpad, just remove all of these, again, remove all these uh, Torx screws. I think these look like a T5 and You know just make sure that the ribbons are Disconnected before you try to pull it out or else you're gonna pull on them right here So once you're in you can replace uh, your touchpad quite easily All right, so that's it. That's how you take apart a MacBook 12 inch a 1534 this one is a rose gold But it's the same for all the other colors of course so if you found the video informative or you liked it, please like and subscribe. Thank you.